Minecraft Anarchy servers are servers which typically have virtually no rules, which the players can do as they please without the risk of being banned. One of the first servers to be created that falls under this umbrella is known as 2B2T. It is known for being the face of Minecraft Anarchy, featuring a spawn which is extremely difficult to navigate, anything within a relatively large radius from spawn risking destruction. As well as having a very rich history, it definitely takes the concept to an extreme and is highly unique among Minecraft servers. Its history is typically divided into three main sections. Unrest, the ancient period of its history, the resurgence era, possibly its equivalent to the Middle Ages, and the Age of Hype, its modern period. It seems to be unclear as to what the exact creation date for the server is, but it is definitely known that it was created in its current form as a Minecraft server in December of 2010. The server was founded by two people named Housemaster and George Bush 420, though it seems that dispute exists regarding whether or not these two people are two different individuals or one and the same. The server originated as a Gary's Mod server, which had a similar aspect of anarchy that the modern Minecraft server has. Footage of the server exists in the form of a video by a channel named Rima, titled Tardy Sailor's Fantastical Adventures in 2B2T Land, which was uploaded in early 2009. The name 2B2T stands for Two Builders, Two Tools, and is derived from the name of the Team Fortress 2 server, titled Two Fort, Two Furious, which itself was derived from the name of the second The Fast and the Furious movie, Too Fast, Too Furious. The icon associated with 2B2T and the icon associated with 2F2F also bear an obvious resemblance to each other. Players never thought to archive the early days of the server, and most information is limited to forum posts from this era, in-game signs, and stories told by players who had experienced the server at this time. It would not take long for the spawn to become ruins, and for players to be forced to move away from it to avoid being attacked. The first players came from 4chan, as that had been the place that had been mostly advertised on. An estimation for the makeup of the server population at this time is 70% users from 4chan and 30% users from other sites, mainly Something Awful, Reddit, Facepunch, and DeviantArt. The server inherited its culture from the original 4chan or inhabitants, deriving its chaotic and politically incorrect nature from the image board. It wouldn't take long for the server's player data to be corrupted and for the server to be backdoored. The most significant event during this period would be the Face Punch War, a conflict between the native 4chaners and the Face Punch Republic, a confederation of various bases set up by users of the Face Punch Forum. The Republic was led by a user of Face Punch named Cheshead, who started a thread on the forum about the server named Upon the Shoulders of Giants, an adventure in 2B2T, resulting in fellow users joining. They moved between various bases, initially taking refuge beneath a castle near Spawn, being based near a single staircase. Many of the users seemed ill-prepared for what the server offered, often complaining about its chaotic nature, and it appeared that a large portion of bases that users attempted to create would be griefed by users who had already inhabited the server. The group grew big enough that they would need a larger area to house themselves, so they moved into another castle. Here is where the system of government for the Republic was formed. The Facebook Republic was a confederation which had social classes which included the president, their advisors, mayors, and citizens. Cheshead himself states that the structure of the group was very loose and his power was almost entirely based on the trust his subjects put into him. Four Tanners also established somewhat of a class system consisting of old fags, mid fags, and new fags, terms inherited from their home site, and ones that survive into the present. These terms roughly corresponded with players who joined during the Age of Unrest, the Age of Resurgence, and the Age of Hype, respectively. Advisors served as a legislature of the Republic and were required to meet up in order to decide on major decisions, which were then sent to the President who had the final say on the matter. Mayors were in charge of managing towns and making sure citizens, who were basic builders and other players under the Republic's jurisdiction, stayed in line. The second castle in which the Republic was based in was destroyed by a player with illegitimately obtained TNT. Their third base did not last long either and suffered the same fate, being destroyed by a group of hackers who, according to Ched's head, were 4chaners. The 4chaners and their older players found the idea of attempting to create an organized society in the server insulting. This would start a year-long conflict on the server between them and the face punchers. The face punchers would relocate to a cave system, turning it into a more habitable space for its residents. The base was managed by a user named Icy Truth, and it lasted longer than the previous two bases, before falling to creepers that had been pushed in by water and shortly after forgotten. 
The next base was found by accident. It already was decently sized and was a favorite of the face punchers, who converted it into one more suitable for their needs. The first event leading to its destruction was a hacker within the face punchers' ranks, who turned against them, and the second event being a member leaking its coordinates. Next, the face punchers would have two bases named after sections of their form. Camp General Discussion, a base managed by a user named Startoad, who frequently fought with the user named Deshande, and Camp Creation Corner. At this time, Cheshead used mob grinders to help equip the players in battle and defend the Republic from external threats in a project named Project Arsenal. A user named Muiors would destroy numerous face punch bases using illegitimately obtained TNT. The Battle of Grey Skull's stand would end up being a warning for the decline of the Republic. In a July 2011 thread, Muiors is listed in a kill on site list in the OP, which mentions that they allegedly had a mansion made of diamonds, which was covered in obsidian. 4chan or more or less became an umbrella term to refer to anyone who opposed the Face Punch Republic, not necessarily anyone who opposed the presence of anyone from Face Punch, and no single large group was ever made to oppose the presence of Face Punchers on the server. Anyone who opposed the Republic could fall under several categories. Face Punchers who opposed the Republic, 4chaners, member of any other community such as Reddit or Something Awful, and or griefers who indiscriminately attacked anyone. Within the Republic, there is also a degree of factionalism, usually based on fights over resources or positions within the Republic, things Chez had himself considered to be petty. The other groups which fought the Pace Punch Republic also no doubt fought amongst each other often. The Republic was dissolved by February of 2012, but Cheshead's successor, Phagocytic, would create 2K2K, a base located at negative 2000 on both the X and Z axis. This base would be the final remnant of the Republic and the most well-known base established by face punchers on 2B2T. The fall of 2K2K would mark the end of the face punch war and the technical victory of the 4chaners. Face punchers would remain on the server long after the war, usually abandoning their former face punch identities and integrating into the hybrid culture developed from the various communities who inhabited the server. The face punch republic would make an important impact on the server and influence later factions that would grow, flourish, and decline later in its history. The rules of the face punch republic would be used as the basis for the rules of other groups. Numerous other threads would be made on the server, including one in February of 2011, one in April of 2012, and another in February of 2013. The face punch republic and the four channels would not be the only groups on the server during this period. One group known as Imperator's Group, which was known for making some of the most impressive art in the history of the server, was formed in 2012. It survived for an unclear amount of time, possibly even to the present day according to some. The Brotherhood of Diamonds was another ancient group, whose first activities involved rebuilding a base containing a book titled Caveman's Log, which was presumed to be made by its previous owner. They were known for giving diamonds to new players at spawn. The Brotherhood disbanded after various base sabotages. Their name and the fact that they made themselves more known resulted in another group, the Fellowship of the Diamond, often being confused with them. Its bases were all named after their coordinates, being named 700, 3000, and 8000 base, the final one being the one with the most effort put into it, being a large castle. The group faced some reorganization after its leader, named Killer Capybara, killed a fellow member over diamonds, in order to keep itself from falling apart. This is the point at which the group gained its name. They created other bases including Diamond Town, a town inhabited by 8 players, a trading post in the nether, a sky base named Laputa, and a base named 9x9 base. None lasted long and all of their bases had been griefed by early 2012. Their final base would be one made on a mushroom biome before all of its members left soon afterwards. Judge's group was the pioneer of group bases. It consisted of two users named the Judge Holden and Octopia, as well as users who had been rescued from spawn. After the griefing of their first base, Old Town, they began a journey to get as far away from spawn as possible and were one of the first groups to make it to 1 million blocks out and stay. The journey is covered in comics made by Judge. Another base they made, named Shit Pit City, would end as it was griefed by someone who would become the most infamous griefer on the server, Pop Pop. Two allied griefing groups existed during this time, Pilandia and the Vikings, the former being Finnish and the latter believed to be Dutch. These two groups are only known for being the raiders of a base known as Negative 400-800, a base known for being the residence of a user named XCC2. The base was raided numerous times, including by a group known as Dark Carnival. Other than the fact that they raided the base, nothing else is known about it. The two other raiding groups are also very scarce in terms of information, Blandia being mostly known from a reddit post by XCC2 and the Vikings known from signs in a fit MC video about the Brotherhood.
XTC2 and another base member would find out that Pilandia was creating TNT using a creeper grinder kept loaded by AFK members who constantly stayed there. They killed the members there, and afterwards Pilandia disappears from the historical record of the server. The name Pland mostly means something along the lines of Land of the Hazel Grouse, assuming that the group is in fact Finnish. After the fall of the Republic, the server fell into decline in an era known as the Great Decay. The face punchers had withdrawn from the server, which tore out a good chunk of its player base. The server address was changed, and the server had gone down for three months, which resulted in a number of players quitting, believing the server to have gone down permanently. The below player account resulted in no major conflicts occurring, ironically creating what was essentially a dystopian version of the peaceful anarchy that the Facepunch Republic had attempted to create.